boys and girls, welcome back to another amazing race of the Messenger 8-Bit No Out of Bounds from GG Speedruns. We just saw the Big K1 versus Grandius, an electrifying race between those two champions. And, oh, warming up here, practicing a little bit, getting some Glacial Falls. Runners yeah. are getting ready. We have Ishbender versus Anelifer, also known as Levicross, for those that don't know. These two runners are extraordinary runners, both in the sub-31 bracket. So we're going to see a really crazy race with some awesome ninja platforming, like you love. Also, I am Cal Berry Sr., and I am joining uh, Mr. Waffles on the commentary today. Hello again. You're stuck with me for another race, unfortunately. Uh, the winner of the last race was Grandius with two incredible sub-31 paces in the race, setting new records for this tournament. I believe the yeah. last was 30-29. Uh, yeah, unreal times. Like, just the big wow. one Playing very well, and, and really, like, on some of his best paces ever, just on PV pace, both runs into tower, just having an unfortunate tower of tears this time, and you hate to see that. But still playing very well up against that monster known as Grandius. Yeah, Big uh, K so had an amazing showing as well. And we're counting down. We're off. Sure did. Ooh. Here we go. Runners are off. A uh, little, little bit of delay on Levy's side. One runner is off. There we go. Levy has made it out of the treehouse. We may yeah, see some sure. differing, maybe you know, getting synced up as we go here. But basically, if you haven't seen this game before, this is uh, this is the Messenger. It's an action adventure platformer, kind of inspired by Ninja Gaiden, released by Sabotage Studios, August thirtieth, two thousand eighteen, and it won a best debut indie game of that year. Yeah, we I assume everyone's at least Ninja dabbled and... in this game a little bit. But if you haven't, please do, please, please do. Please check it out. This, this game is tragically underrated. It's certainly my personally my favorite game. And that is basically because of how good the movement feels. You see the lines under the ninja's feet. This is the integral cloud step mechanic, which lets ninja gain another jump midair whenever striking an object with a sword. So using that, we're going to see uh, just really good aerial freedom and mobility on the ground, on air, in the water, wherever. Yeah, it's going to be mostly vertical until we get the rope dart, of course. <laughs> Our buddy, the Scrawl. Here comes that Western hero. He's really cool. We hope we're that cool one day. Uh, each enemy killed has a 40% chance to drop one of those time shards. Each runner getting one shard. That's going to be really good as they progress towards the first shot. They're going to need 40 shards to buy their first upgrade, enabling them to strike enemy projectiles. Yeah, no low percent. Nobody's that crazy to do low percent, right? At least in a race. Uh, that depends. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, oh, both runners actually got one shirt as well. Let's see what we get for slaps. I don't reckon that Ish. I don't think that Ish goes for any, does he? Oh, we may see some slaps. The slaps oh, awesome. we refer to, uh, you know, basic turtle boost. You, you've seen it before if you watched the last race, but uh, whenever a ninja is striking something that has pushback, like those blocks or these green turtles, uh, slashing first the opposite direction causes us to get boosted from behind. It saves very little time. But it looks great, feels great. And adds up. It does add up. Oh, same shard count. Neither have enough, so we gotta dip to the wall. Alright, and both ending up with 41. No problem here. We have some very cute chops. Oh! <laughs> very cute indeed. Wow. Runners are syncing up very nicely. We'll see how they navigate this first turtle. They're both going to go right over all of that fireball nonsense. Smart choice. Yeah, Definitely climbing actually... the trees, cutting it close. Yep, see, nice little... Uh... Double double jump there off of the lantern with the cloud step. Because they slashed and jumped it at the same time and get a second jump. 
Ooh, Levy getting balanced to the left in that spike pick. Gonna have to take that swing, and he's gonna make some extra shards, though. He's, uh, he's gonna go with some banker strats here and be ahead in bamboo, hopefully. Oh, I just realized their file names. <laughs> They're GLing each yeah, other was, like that. That was Ish, yeah, my apologies. Ishbender unfortunately going left, but getting extra shards. So, uh, you know, you win some and then, you know, you lose some, but he's gonna make it up a little bit later. Yeah, potentially going right through the waterfall, whereas Levy may have to drop into the water. See Let's see these second. swimmers going. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Levy is going to take a really nice damage boost there. Ishbinder is going under, so it tells me he's probably setting up for the good old OG spike tower. Sure enough, uh, Levy grabbing the health, going to strike that projectile and jump over. Ishbinder just going for it. Big respect. You hate to see that cap and knockback, but yeah. that is, you know, the faster call there. Very impressive. Yeah, biggest of respects for that attempt. Yeah, Levy getting the uh, the regular spike tower that most runners go for, so he's going to pull ahead a little here. But that could be made up at any point. Just kind of holding right and jumping at the right times, so this room could be really relaxing until, you know, you suddenly hit like a rock in your path and you trip face first into gravel. Uh, that's kind of the Autumn Hills experience in my heart. <laughs> Uh, here, very good ladder skip for both runners. Levy getting that stump jump, very nice. Oh, I didn't realize that it had a name actually. I like that name. The names are, you know, what, whatever you call them. Um, for me, it's a big stump we jump over. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Really nice quarters here from uh, from Levy. We're seeing like really cute Scurbu damage there and grabbing some shards. Ishbender as well, dropping right on him, so you get boosted to the right there, and you're set up for a nice drop that gets all the shards without hitting the corners. Yeah, no second win there it means a bonk. The opposite direction can be horrible. Absolutely devastating. And you have to climb all the way back up. Both to your bank account and to, like, to your emotions. Yeah. Nice quick shot. I looked away for a second. A little slow, but still overall pretty cute. Cute shops indeed. Uh, here we have a pile of leaves, unfortunately animated because it happens to be a full moon tonight. Levy's gonna get right up and stand Ooh. on its foot and just <laughs> strike it in the face. Uh, clean one cycle there, hoping the same for Ish. Let's see, just inches closer, just scooting on the ground. I love <laughs> the crouching ninja animation. Also, a very nice rake. Well done, boys. Slapping the knees of the golem. Just cutting that weed out at the root. Yeah, no two cycles today. Well, there will be another race. At least one other race. High Forlorn. Bye Forlorn. <laughs> Here's again, if you missed it, uh, Ish going through Forlorn Temple. It's a very amazing stage. Uh, kind of going through humanity's last... Oh, it's gone. Yeah, we, uh, we need some cute little helpers to build us a bridge. Unfortunately, Speaking cute little helpers. We rescue one here, we rescue our friend Necro, the spooky boy. He's sprayed of the dead, so we find him in the catacombs, my favorite level. And uh, then we just kind of snap him out of it and say, it's okay, buddy. Yeah, and then he teleports for some reason. He couldn't have done that without our help, man. I don't know. Ooh. Very clean uh, first Thruxton cycle there for, from Levy. Which as well, just right up, killing all those enemies. Very clean. Yeah, nobody using the shuriken yet. Ooh, nope. Nice Who's Ed. here? Gonna save all the health. Really good Ducker Zed for Levy. Oh, we Let's got a head bonk. Use. You got a head bonk on the ceiling there, off of the cloud step. That's really cool. Damage view strat. You love to see it. It's the variety in the room. You see, like, there's very many ways to approach each puzzle in this game. Like, you can go one route or a completely different route, whether it's for personal style or just swag. Uh, there's there's many ways to navigate these rooms, and although there's often one linear path, you can, like, each runner has a distinct personal style, which is really fun to see play out in these races. 
Yeah, that, that's one of the coolest things about this game is there's so many rooms, there's a few ways you can do it. None of them lose time, but some of them, like, it's just runner's choice. Yeah. You see that a lot in Quill Shroom, actually. Oh, think, think Waffles. I love Ducker Zed. I want to say that more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Netherburner is actually going through the spike today. That's pretty surprising. Very good. Opting very safe. Not going to go for like extra bonks or hitting fireballs uh, going the upper route in the lantern room here. Just going uh, right through toward the Badonkadonk, wishing them luck. Yabba Dabba Donk. Levy is going to do the screen reset. Oh, so close. close. Just barely missing that lantern. Yeah, he's trying to inch, inch the turtle a little bit closer. Yeah, inch, Ish got it there. Oh, nice. Let's go, Ish. There's the Badonkadonk using that cloud step from above to uh, make the connection to that lantern and jump over the trigger volume. So no rucks and cutscene for Ishbender today. Yeah, wow. At least in this out. race. Levy yeah, still got a slight lead. But I think his timer's a tiny bit ahead, so it's pretty much dead even right now. In Ishbender's favorite room right now, are the three bats and the moving platform. Yeah, he's got the shrikens actually. Ooh, so that was he a can... cute drop. That was a very cute drop. Secondary benefit of getting Badonk is you have the shuriken, so you get to throw them at whatever you whatever you so desire. Your heart's content. You can throw them at the Skeletons, the Wizards, uh, Fire Kappas, the wall, whatever you want. They're your shurikens. Very nice Crusher skip from both runners. Yeah, that cycle's a tricky one to, to learn, but once you get it down, you get it down pretty good. And, of course, here's Ruxton. Let's see Hi, Ruxton. Hi, Ruxton. We love you, buddy. Consistent. You too, spooky stuff. Double okay. low. Thank you, Ruxton. Hope you feel better. All right, Ooh, so using a really good Zelda Blade to get that jump slash into the middle platform. And yeah, just it looks like Levy is just aggressively like biting Ruxton's heels, just taking him down, <laughs> sitting right on top of him. It's been getting up there as well, killing him before those fireballs have much of a chance to get off of the right wall. Yeah, it's always a good indicator of how quick you did that kill. With the top, it's always the same, unless you get him on the top platform, but low Ruxton, there's definitely some variant. Levy actually did a, a front P-boost off of Ruxton, which I it's always really cool to see. Funny to Very think about that happening movement, indeed. You uh, got should the song? we sing... Uh... The song of our people goes like this. I like Chinese food. Chinese food is good for you. I like to eat Chinese food and Chinese food is yummy too. If you like me too, you will bring me Chinese food because it is so yummy. Did I mention I like Chinese food? Excellent. That was a song about Chinese food uh, in the Bamboo Creek. A very bright and uh, sunny level. We get to run through these awesome streams and uh, hit switches with the shuriken strat. Very nice, Ducker Zed. Good handling oh, no. on the Skalute here. Oh, little stutter for uh, Levy and Ish in this room, but both making it through. They both went for it, and they both missed the one tile. Respect. Getting right past this weird wanderer with the spear. Oh, that's a cool-looking dude. Okay, Levy can damage boost. Ah, he's going tree. Yeah, same with Ish. Nice instant fireless for both runners. And we are moving on into the N2 skip room. See how the, was there not a third wall axer for Levy? I'm like, I'm crazy. I didn't see, I was watching Ish. Very nice. nice. First try for Levy. First nice. try for Ish. Let's go, boys. Good steel heart jump around that corner. They're gonna go. Oh, Ish falling just a little bit down that platform, but has the uh, cloud step from that lantern. Nice double lantern jump there to make that connection. Slight movement mishap, but both runners doing well. Ooh, same for Levy there, a little mishap. As long as you don't fall in that pit, everything is good. Or this pit. Really any of these pits. Yeah, we got our double jumps on point, so... We won't see the elevator. Both runners are actually really rich, so... No stopping in the waterfall at all. You love to see it. If you have 251 oh. shards and you get to that fall, you can just jump right off. 
Is that drops? It, it's showing off the swag drop. Oh my goodness. Let's go, Ish. Now entering the Howling Grotto, it's a cave level, so a lot of the level is really tight. We're gonna have to watch out for Sticky Ninja here, as our climbing claws are kind of weaved with uh, some spider hair. Yeah, time time to harness the winds. We've got our wingsuit. Oh, that shop. Oh, that shop. Sorry, reference. Let's go. Oh, name of the song. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I listen to the soundtrack a lot. <laughs> Seeing really clean slack height and wind rides up here. Uh, both boys just making it through. Let's see how they handle this spike drop. I wonder if we're going to see any yellow drop. Okay. Very clean. Uh, one one oh. little wingsuit. That is a yellow drop from Ishbender. <laughs> Ish, please. Oh my goodness. You love to see it. He's too cool. I haven't cool. seen one of those in a while. Wow, that was so cool. Yolo drop, if you, if you hadn't figured, is just dropping down that zigzag spike path without any use of the wingsuit to slow yourself. Oh. Very good aerial control from Eshbender there. Uh, both runners on good pace for the DK skip here in DK room. Levy, no, Levy. the hay crouch? Okay, he's way to get out. Yeah, Levy bumped his head on the first corner, so. Ah, uh, I, I missed it. Yeah. When that happens, I feel like it's not too bad, because then you're like, Oh, well, now I don't have to worry about it. I'm not getting it no matter what. Since you're waiting, it is uh, courtesy to crouch when you hear the hay in the song. Oh, good to know. It's good form from Levy. So it just actually pulled ahead a little bit here after that DK skip. But Levy's still hot on his heels. Good old boulder bait to make him throw the rock to the right. Let's see the yeet. Very nice speed from both okay. runners. It's all around. No god yeet attempts, unfortunately. I don't I think there's only a couple of mad lads that go for that. Yeah, just getting that fast speed out of the water, though, that's enough. Uh, Ish is having a really nice grotto pace. I think uh, that it's going to be a hay skip. Uh, for Levy as well, it seems to have definitely caught up. The chat will let us know in the end. Yeah. Nice little head bonk on that uh, rock there with a the cloud step. Get some downward momentum. Mm -hmm. Look at that sink. Hey! I just guessed. Hey! Hopeful. Yeah, I think it was a little too early. Boss room, let's go. Boss room, okay, yeah, you were pretty close then. Alright, angry golem boy, time to smack the ground a little bit. Actually, I guess he's not angry, he's, what, clearing out the cave or something like that? He's just vibing, he's he's mining through the tunnels, has been for a while. Um, been here, way, way before we showed up. Yeah, we're... We're being mean to this golem. Well, we don't know that, we think that he's a threat. Uh, and, and rightly so, that, that is, that's a large boy, was, he's punching us with uh, the hammers, he has true. he has projectiles that lock onto us, like what do we, what do we expect? Yeah, true, I can see the punching being a mis mistaken, but the, the projectiles, I don't know. Wow, both, both pretty much the same fight, I think it's just a little lower? Or maybe Levy was a little lower. You love to see that, just a clean two cycle, those seven hints to the core, shuriken from the outside, both runners, neither having any disasters in that fight. Killing it sort of high in the screen, losing some time floating down, but making sure that that wisp doesn't get further away from them and drag that fight out. Yeah, not the greatest of kills, but they were pretty much the same for both runners. It ends I up just being around love to see that death list. Ooh, Levy throwing in a nice little turtle boost there. Levy with the Kappa Slaps. That is a nice godly drop from Ishbender. All three lanterns and no bonk. I wonder if he'll throw any in the right room here to try and beat the pendulum cycle. Did you know this is the longest horizontal room in the game? There are two checkpoints in it, and you can move through it optimally without letting go of right. I actually did. That's quite cool. Now you know. 
No boost so far. Oh, I saw... <laughs> I really appreciated when Grandius tried to do the uh, platform drop uh, turtle boost on, on the one that Levy just passed. I don't that's, think he got it, insane. but he at least tried it, which I respect. Sure. That's crazy. Neither having a stall to avoid the pendulum. Good stuff. Both ninja are walking uh, right, but spitting straight facts. As we go into an excellent jump slash wingster attack from both runners, making that connection up into the mushrooms. Jump over the boo ring here, and uh, what are they going to do in this room? That works. Duck and throw a shuriken, hit the switch. Yeah, not quite as bad to miss that one as the bamboo one, but it still sucks. Now having two shuriken in reserve, they're going to have to make sure that they get a nice tight grouping. Yeah. Later on, they're going to get over this peak here, a little mushroom peak, and then they are dropping down. No forbidden turtle slaps. <laughs> nice. I tried oh, I almost sure. identical double shuriken for both runners. Beautifully done. I remember I tried that uh, forbidden slap, and I got it first try, and I was like, oh, that's not that hard. And then every single run after that, I tried it. I never got it again. Oh, nice little bird bait there. Fish that was really good. Oh, a little bit of a... Levy just sending it in this room. Was that... Was he going for it? I think he was going for it. <laughs> Bully zone, oh, uh, okay. taking two health off for both runners, but not slowing either of them down. That's a mandatory 2 HP, unless you're able to get, like, a, a very tight execution. No left... No right side, rather. Oh, Ish no. has a good chance. Ooh. No. There's a bonk at the end. He's going to go around. No problem. Okay. That was a really clean wingsuit around the turtle. That's what you want to see. Oh, nice little levy hop there. Yes, On indeed. Wall by the mushroom. Getting that quick jump right as you pass a wall like that, a corner, uh, just jumping again, uh, is a good levy kick. Yeah, I was, I was practicing those, and he was like... <laughs> he was in my chat going, do a, do a hop there, do a hop there. And I was like, I can't, there's too many hops. <laughs> what, uh, what do you, I can't hold all these hops. <laughs> really good use of jump slash, getting up there, following her up and throwing a shuriken to knock the queen off of the rings. Unfortunately, Levy is getting the whip pattern, but Ishbender having a clean kill here. Throwing the extra shuriken as security to make sure she is going to the middle, not pulling out that whip. I believe yeah. that's going to let that sink back in. Yeah, actually, it's actually taking the lead, that uh, Levy being further in the cutscene, uh, behind the cutscene than I thought. Yeah, that that whip cycle hurts. And Ish's timer is a little lower too, so... I want to say 8, eight to 10 seconds around that for Ish, but... Moving into Crags Ooh. though, this is where the, the top runners, the tip-top runners like Levy can really start to pull ahead. Neither runner activating true ninja here on the second meatball. That is unfortunate. It's going to spell disaster for these runners, and they'll have to rely on their strong fundamentals to get through these crags unharmed. Run is slightly cursed. Oh. Slight, only a small curse. It can be cleared if they are to go for a pupa slide. And yeah, we'll now that they have the rope dart, uh, things get really exciting. Oh, okay. He's going to the left side here. That'll let Levy catch up a bit. Oh, and he doesn't even hit spikes. Very clean. Nice Remy lantern there. See? ah, uh, Yep, cursed runs, unfortunately. That's okay, they are saving 0.1 second, not going for the slide. Good tactical decision, no matter what. They lose nice. the slide. No point, nonsense so. ceiling skip. Yeah, so e even though Ish pulled ahead with the uh, whipless, it's, it's right back to even, Levy even getting a bit of a lead, just because of the clean movement shown off in Crags already. A little bit of a stick though, and, and that sink can be right back in here. Let's see how they handle this chimney. Uh, Levy, no trouble from it, neither Ish. Very well done. Unfortunately, Levy not getting quite enough height to make it up there, or getting the kick. Ooh, both getting that tight meatball jump. Levy throwing a shuriken at the wall too, just for good measure. Poor Suivon Picant dart, complete, good transfer. Jump and throw the shuriken, knock that turtle back, no? Okay. Good dart, good ceiling Hansan. Pupa just taught me that oh. one. Okay, left side from both runners. Oh wow, I, I oh, thought we'd too late to go to the right. I haven't seen this in a while. 
very clean. The very clean left is gonna beat out like a dirty right all day. Oh, for sure. Yeah, left is a lot easier, a lot safer, and a little slower. Getting into our thick boys. Oh, no, spin ball for Levy. Oh, Get there. He doesn't make the connection. He's gonna try to maximize on slashes on the way down. That's not too bad. Depends on Sousa's next attack. If he's going right up there, Levy's in trouble. He needs the people's elbow. Yeah, it's got a towel whip and then a swap out, so he does not have a lot of damage on Sousa. I think he got Kolos though, okay. Kolos oh, is down for Ish. This fight is looking pretty good. It's over after this boulder. Meanwhile, Levy's still having to finish off Seuss's. Not getting uh, that people's elbow, unfortunately. Okay. But I think this will be it with the trade out. Okay. Yeah, Ish catching up there. No attack. Wow. Yeah, good pattern for Ish. Levy getting a little trolled. Only a small troll, and they uh, punt Ninja right up the mountain. We got a shuffle pizza for uh, Ish and Chat, and a shovel please for Aaron Levy. <laughs> and two sneezes for me, okay. Nice ceiling skip off of the bird here for Levy. Or for Ish, and then Levy as well. Yeah, it took me a while to get that down, but then I realized that you have to wait just a little bit for that meatball to get out of the way. That or the Heather Slash. Oh, Looking like a really good ascent through this room. Uh, Levy going up left oh. side. The... Lying down like his belly on the ground on that wingsuit for a frame. <laughs> that was very interesting. <laughs> he wanted to make a snow angel there. Okay, Levy is making snow angels as he's climbing the mountain. Yeah. It's incredibly impressive. He knows he can catch up. Getting a great uh, jump slash off the land from there, making that connecting dart to the off-screen uh, ceiling corner there. Meanwhile, Ishbender is just flying through. Is he getting the bat boost? He's going to rope dart the bat right in the skull. Levy too. He's not wasting time. Let's see if we get some Brazilian ice climbers. Oh, ooh, that was quick. a uh, Flawless Ice Climber. Brazilian variety. And how are the hops in this room? He's gonna go for it. Uh, the, the intentional hop. Nailing that mm -hmm. kick. Levy following up, nailing it as well. Oh. Itch with the teleport. Levy nice. with the teleport. Very clean. You know, the stream did not stutter. That was that was a game mechanic. It's a it's a neat feature. We spliced it. Wow, Captain. really nice glacial from both runners. Levy just throwing shuriken right at the blue robes. I don't I don't know what they did to him. I mean, they start smack talking. Like, oh, I told you you were slow. Let's see what our tower in. Belated uh, respect, both runners going for that teleport. Love to see it. For those that don't know, with a quick <laughs> explanation, if you kill an enemy that you're rope darting to, before the rope dart finishes, and at the same time that enemy dies, another enemy of the same creature type appears on screen, Ninja will teleport to that second enemy. Practice, practice, practice. So Levy is uh, five seconds behind. Levy having a lot of fun with the wall there, waiting for that platform. I, I love that dance. Uh, both runners on that uh, sub-31 pace. Come on, Tower of Time save. Ooh, okay, no Hail Mary. This is where Levy can make up some ground. Oh, no, he's not for it. Smart. Neither a Hail Mary Senior nor a Junior here. Oh no! For Levy is going to eat a face full of laser. That is going to spell disaster for the runner. Yeah, that means if he wants to do the laser climb, he needs to get the double HP drop anyway. Which is one of the big benefits of, of not doing Hail Mary is as long as you don't get hit, you don't need a drop. That is a tall order, as we're seeing. 
a levy with a really clean minus start. Ooh, trolley with row placement, so I think he's getting hit here anyways. Oh, and he makes Itch it, with, wow. with the leash. Did not stay leashed. Oh. Oh, he unleashed he, with the dart. That was a good call. He didn't try to go for the, the outside strat? No. Oh, shame. No, it wouldn't work. Another nice crystal beast. He's got to be quick. Very nice, nice Cooney. One cycle for Ish. Oh, no. Did he get it as well at the last second. See, uh, no no HP from the Ojos. Oh, Ish actually has three as well. So I guess he took a hit when I wasn't looking. Uh, he he leashed the with minus leash whiz rope and had to take a second hit there. Oh, okay. Yeah, hit no French connections here. Don't worry, please. Get rid of the boxes. One. Get those boxes out of my sight. Very good. Just stick into the walls, not to the lasers. This is the whole race incredibly synced. Just no. very close. Yeah, this is coming down to the last second. We have one more insane trick. Both runners have the HP for it. Ooh. That was a really nice hop on that room entry from Levy. Yeah, that's a cool one. I'll have to start going for that. No walk of shame. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Are they both going to go for it? I think they're both going for it. If Levy happens to be watching, he knows he may have to. <laughs> oh no! It's just Ooh. playing it safe. Levy's going for the Ojos. Switch from luck in the wizard room. It's Scary a good room here, though. She's safe. I think this puts the lead back in Levy's favor. That was bold. Levy opting to hunt on that corner. If he was a little bit higher, connecting to that wall, that is game over. <laughs> wow, Respect. Levy to Chad. No contest. Uh, that is that's just a hard agree. Good crystal minute. Now let's see. 30.02. 30. Okay, so Ish is ahead by a second because of the timer difference. Yep. So, could come down to laser skip and or the golem fight. Let's see. Come on, boys. Climb safe. No safe climb for Levy. Wow, that was fast. Oh, There's, no, we didn't get the health. Just, he's got it. Three he's HP. Three oh. oh, no. Oh, Ish got it, he's too. In trouble. Oh, my God. He's gotta, he's gotta have a good arcane golem fight. Not even a pachi pachi. You're just hoping that both runners are pulling out their 18s or 19s for this one. Yeah. If Levy's watching, he knows he'll have to go big for this. This one is start. so incredibly close. Okay. One tile start for both. First clap. Ish oh, has a better reconnect. He's pulling ahead. Ish yeah, Levy knows he has to be safe. It's kind of even. Oh, it's just oh, timer stop. So close. Oh no. We, we'll have to retime. Oh my it, god! That's <laughs> incredible, boys. Holy Looks like Ish is just a second ahead, but we, we're gonna have to. I don't know Holy the decision on that one. Why? <laughs> we have what to retime finish. that, right? Guys, that is incredible. How did that happen? What? <laughs> okay, so I what think... What a treat. So, if they finished at the same time and Ish's timer was a second behind Levy, then that's, I think that means Ish won. But that's we'll logic have to I'm working it. with.